Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. Today we're going to continue playing as that Enclave Reconstruction Authority. And have a great time as we invade the Haida Confederation. So, as you can tell right now, I'm trying to rebase my ships up north. So our little power armor boys can go ahead and invade and have a great time with everyone around here. So, um... Let's invade the capital. I think the capital would be best to grab. Uh, right now, by the end of this episode, we will be at war with Kaiser's Legion, so I just want to prepare for us for that. We're currently at war with some Mexican bandits. Pretty normal, though. Pretty normal. In which we're trying to cause more wars, or trying to claim more stuff or something, you know. Just enclave things. But, um, yeah. I have been thinking about... Um... The next campaign. Now, just hear me out. I did say I was going to play as a presidential dictatorship immediately next. Uh, once I'm done taking out Khazar's Legion in this part of the playthrough. And then, and when I play the Enclave next, I will choose the other decisions that I did not choose. For example, I'll still go with Reform probably sometime. I might choose Segregation next time. As well as choosing the opposite of whichever I choose from here against Kaiser's Legion, become an autocracy, and probably probably do Enclave Reborn. So, yeah, next time I do this, I will choose those options. But right now, I've been thinking that because there's so much support for me to play something else immediately after this campaign, I might choose another faction to play as. Maybe. Just because if I play the Enclave again... We might end up with a different result with me going to war with NCR, since I'm a little bit more fluid with the mechanics of this mod now. So that I might be able to try something a little bit differently next time I play, I play as the Enclave, trying to reform the United States, or at least the Enclave are born. So, just thinking about things like that. Um, I don't mind immediately playing, going back to an earlier save in this playthrough and doing... The presidential dictatorship, but I also don't mind trying something else new. Just because there's so many countries here that are interesting. It's ridiculous that this mod is pretty good so far. Pretty great. Pretty great. Both the Enclave Reborn as well as the just regular Old World Blues. Just pretty good, great stuff. Right now, let's go ahead and send couriers to Ruby Re Valley Refuge. Sorrow Stowalkers. Bone Pickers. I get to annex the Bone Pickers. Where are the Bone Pickers? Ah, over here. Um, I'm gonna get... Ashton could be fun. Let's get Ashton, because they get ally with us. And... I could annex the bone pickers, or I could pressure these sorrows. Let's go with the bone pickers. Just get them out of the way first. Cool. So right now, I'm just kind of waiting for my soldiers up in the north to help themselves to get up to the land so they can able invade. Candle light vigil and greater day glow people have gathered in greater day glow to remember four years since a great greater day glow massacre uh i have 100 percent legitimacy which isn't bad but i don't think i'm going to just break it up so this time they'll never try it again i lose some stability i lose some legitimacy but at least this will never happen again ah democracy i love it why does this keep bringing me back up to here but we do have a lot of manpower i just got to prepare myself for the war against kaiser's legion which will suck which will absolutely suck and that's okay uh, give me one of you guys. You don't need to move. Ah, uh, fund the Colleges of Followers. Nice. Forward interception is also done. Um, okay, so for this, like I said, I was going to choose one of these and in the next playthrough do something else. Uh, I'm probably going to choose Operation Spartacus just because right now we've expanded the definition of human to the point where we're mostly a democracy, a free democratic style of government. So I think... And issuing a second Emancipation Proclamation might be a good thing for us. When I play this again, I will definitely do from the top down. So I think for now, I'm going to choose from the bottom up for a little bit more stability. And to say I'm going to liberate slaves, even though <clears throat> there's no free, pre free press in my country. Which absolutely makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Oh, it's paused. And yeah, I know, trying to push my way through... The Mexican bandits here isn't always a super great idea, but, you know, whatever. Things happen. Mexicans happen. That's alright. Ooh. Some more, ooh, six more divisions. Throw you over here. Over, oh, you're infantry. That's alright. I am I was going to throw the infantry on here eventually anyways, or the power armor into infantry groups. Which is fine with me. 
Go ahead and just hold on to the lands for now. I'm going to tell you guys to stop attacking like crazy. And I want a little bit more supply down here. Yeah, power armor takes a lot of supply, so no worries. Just go ahead and prepare yourselves. And But in your case, take all but one and just attack this way if you can. I want to cut off the soldiers at the top around Puertecitos and take out these guys. But by the end of this episode, we will be at war with the Legion, so I do want to let you guys know that. Find another power supply. Very nice. Okay, it keeps bringing me back up here. Not cool, man. Not cool. Yeah, we're building a lot of things up. Oh, did I annex the bone pickers already? Well, I hope I did. Nice. And we have radar up here, which is great. We got a little bit of supply. Uh, how are these divisions doing? They're still making their way up here. Oh, my goodness. You guys take forever. Let's see. Send couriers to Delta. I'll do the Sorrows next. Cool. Awesome. I got some copy here, too. Mm, and just get over there. Awesome. Immediately push this way, because I want to take the region to the right of that. Because if I can take this town, then all of these guys are going to die. Oh, actually, they have a port. God dang it. That's not good that they actually have a port. I think these guys are, actually should be out of manpower. Oh, uh, they're out of manpower, which is nice from scraping the barrel, so they might actually get some more manpower back. And it sounds like my cat is clawing outside my door, but whatever. Come on. Awesome, we took it. Which means I can actually upgrade the infrastructure here. Which will actually help everyone, including my enemies, but that's okay. So, I did notice that the Legion is is pretty strong. I mean, they're very strong, don't get me wrong. I need to be prepared for the war against them, because they got a lot of manpower. I have more. They definitely have more divisions than me. But with our decisions... Binky wants to come into my room and disturb us, but I kind of have my door blocked because there's extra sounds coming from outside. But anyways, um, what was I saying? I can't remember. But uh, the Legion is very, very strong. Like, they're piercing. If I don't have the best armor on my power armor, like, if I'm missing just, like, 50 units of power armor, they will be able to go uh, destroy um, just... Like my power armor, they 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 will be able to pierce me, which is crazy. And now when I do this, I can uh, arm slaves. Dreams of liberty. The legion is based on slavery and de despotism. But there are those who remember when no American wore the yoke of slavery. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Why did I say it in that accent? Oh my goodness. Uh, but anyways, uh, where is the decisions? Ooh, assault craft. Very nice. Very nice. Arm craft barges. Armed craft, and then patrol ships. Very nice, very nice. Do that. Gunderson, please. And thank you. Oh, wow, we need... Oh, my goodness, we need electricity. I knew this would happen eventually. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna need some electricity pretty... Pretty quickly. No wonder I can't core anything else. Alright, so it looks like... This is not turning out very good for us. So, let's do this. I'm going to send everyone down here. I don't need a lot of divisions in the north, so actually, just take U6. Hold the line this way. That actually should be okay. Cool. Let's put you guys in half. You guys are attacking. You're going to potentially try to encircle me, which will suck. Get up there as fast as you possibly can. Just don't let them get encircled. Wow, look how slow these guys are moving. Do they... I think we have air superiority. Oh, we got encircled. God dang it. Come on. Push them out. You know, if they want to play hardball, then we'll play hardball. I gotta push this way then to link up with those guys over there. Oh my goodness, they actually encircled me like crazy. Wait, I can't... I can't build more stuff here? Wow, I'm actually encircled. This is actually really bad. Well, then just wait. Hold on. We'll attack from the north and strike them... And basically work our way down here, so... Won't be too bad. You guys, just hang on. Uh, oh, we have two divisions over here. So actually, that's pretty good to hold on there. I am failing so hard right now. I don't know how I am. Give them a little boost. They need a force attack boost. Like, I need supply right now. Alright, we'll get down there soon enough. Yep, we took the supply base. Yeah, go ahead and just go ham on these guys. They deserve to die. So as long as we can just hold the land, no problems. Oh, we do have some supply coming through here with the port, so that's kind of nice. Ooh, nearly caused a huge issue. Oh, my goodness. 
And they're attacking us, which is good for us, actually. Um, this is actually not good for us if you're going to do something that crazy. Oh, we got supply. Whew. Whew. All right, so all of you guys come down here. You guys do this. Send the infantry and the little bit of power armor I added to these guys. All right here. Because they're all going to die. Wait. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Do not lose Colonet. Go ahead and hold. Build yourself up. Make yourself big and strong. You got an advanced foundry. And it took 630 days, but I'm running out of things to research anyway. It doesn't matter. Let these guys hold on there. Plant weapon caches, which I lose 1,000 infantry equipment, which is fine. The Legion get hurts hard. I get more legitimacy and stability, and I can now arm slaves. Great. Operation Spartacus. The flag of rebellion has been risen throughout the land of the Legion. The peoples of Arizona and New Mexico are resolved that... Here resolve that this land shall have a new birth freedom and that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I'm doing the Colorado line just in case first. Because I want to finish up this part of Mexico first. Oh my goodness, just walk in there, guys. Honestly, even if we don't win these battles initially, they can't win. Like, they have literally zero supply. So, let's focus up here now. I'm probably going to lose a couple divisions. I'm showing you my weakness in terms of me playing Hoi 4, I guess. Which sometimes I'm not great at this game. Usually I'm okay. I'm pretty decent at times. But sometimes I can definitely make a couple mistakes. Mm, aid to Ashton. Oh, they have to be they can't be my puppets, so I give them aid. Oh well, whatever. Oh, baby. Where are the arm people thingies? Oh, Ashton rejoins us? Sure. Ruby Valley Refuge? Sure. Sounds like fun to me. Now, I hope I don't lose too many divisions when you naval invade. Of course you're gonna lose probably somebody. But let's see what happens. The Hyde Confederation has a little bit of manpower, not a lot, but 16 divisions, not bad. Um, is there anything else here? Not really that we need. We're doing that, we're doing this. I think we might as well do that, it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're trying to invade, but it's not really working super well for us. Oh, but we took the capital, nice. Let's grab that port immediately. And actually, I want you guys to come over here. Do not move, I need you to stay right there. Kung, awesome. Come back down here. Oh, baby, what's going on? Uh, yeah, just... Like, at this point, just terminate them with extreme prejudice. There's no point for them to even live. Uh, yeah, give me that port as soon as you can. Cool. Now, everyone is going to come back down here. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. We need Mores. However you pronounce that. Binky, you're not coming to my room because I have stuff blocking the door. Because I have stuff... Trying to block the sound from coming inside the, my room too much. Um, doesn't really matter what I do anymore for this. Really, just go ahead when you can. It doesn't really matter at all. I'm more concerned about the, the uh, stuff going down here. Because we got encircled, then we didn't get encircled. Uh, yeah, these guys are actually pretty tough. I'm kind of surprised how tough they are. They can't pierce us. We have air superiority, but they have, they're pretty darn strong. The Mexican ban has given us a run for our money. Well, they're gonna die. Even if I don't attack them, they're still gonna die regardless, so it doesn't even matter. Ah, oh, very good. Coffee is great. Yeah, doing that type of attack probably isn't the best idea. I don't want to split my forces up yet, so I really want to wait, perhaps, for this, because they're just gonna starve and die away. Pressure them economically, do that. Alright, yeah, let's how's this going? Nice, we have made a small little encirclement. Alright, please stop attacking me. So, there you go. Colorado Line, Operation Spartacus, I will do that soon. We're running out of things for focuses to do, but we're not quite done yet. Rank and file infantry sounds good. Costs us a little bit of army XP, and that's okay. Send everyone that way. Send all but one that way as well. Come on. Awesome. Forest Banks. Alright, so, you guys, I'm going to put you down here. And I want everyone to do go ham. Custom belt capacitors for more piercing. Great. Let's get a medic bag for more reinforced rape. I can ally with the Sorrows, who is fighting the Tar Walkers. Yeah, sorry guys, I want you both under me. Not in me, but under me. Yeah, I think that'd be for the best. Oh, and the Mexican bandits are still attacking my power armor. Well, that's good for us, because that'll give us maybe some more XP, lower their manpower, and all sorts of good stuff. 
Oh, I gotta love coffee. Let's see, infrastructure level 7. That's not bad. 7 is pretty good. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, ah, actually, in all these lands, we can actually build up some uh, power stations, which I actually really, really need. Oh, negative 150 metal, but negative, what was it, 81 or something? For all the other stuff. All right, we're actually winning. They're pretty well entrenched. Whispers of Hope. I've already seen. We've seen that so many times already. Which is fine. Crush them. Barge two. Awesome. Paddle steamer next. More power armor next. And how's the Hada Confederation? Which I'm just going to take literally everything I can from these enemies. Just make your way down here. Cool. Naval invasion support. Probably don't need it, but I'm going to keep it up there for now. Uh, and how's this looking? Nice, I got one tile left. 19 divisions. How many Mexicans are we going to end up killing here? I don't want to end up killing any Mexicans, but Jesus, guys, come on. Yes, we're not winning this battle, but their supply, their equipment, isn't doing very well. Department of the Navy, sure, screw it, why not? Um, really doesn't matter what we do anymore for this stuff. Not too much, at least. Couriers, Ruby Valley Refuge joins us. Send couriers to them. Awesome. We've lost quite a few guys. 4,000. The Veil Bandits have lost 11,000. Um, Supply is not doing terrible here. They're still attacking us, which is good. And there goes the High Confederation, in which nothing happens yet because we have to capitulate the Veil Bandits. The stupid banditos don't like us. Once I take these 19 divisions out, it's all over, so... Will we win? Maybe? Maybe not. I didn't think, I didn't think we would win. I'm just here to destroy their equipment, so... Destroy their strength. That's really why I'm here. That's a lot of divisions to get rid of, though. So, and besides, that just gives us more time to create more and more power armor, which we have a massive deficit of, which is fine. I don't really care. It'll make it things more interesting, let's say. And can I arm? Oh, actually, I need sponsored war movies. Yeah, I could use that. Can I arm? I can't arm anybody. Oh, wait, hold on. There you go. Arm slaves. So when the time is right, they will rise up to show Americans we will always fight for freedom. Oh, you know it. Oh, look. Three divisions actually died after our last attack. Which is good. Because I'm going to keep attacking them. Doing fine. They're still attacking us down here, which is fine. No worries. If anything, I can actually reduce the amount of power armor I'm making to help our stockpile. We have eight. Department of the Navy, very nice. Let's go down to four. I think that'd be kind of nice. Now we need way less power armor. Because as long as you got a certain number of, you know, divisions and ships and stuff like that, we'll be fine. Oof, just so many divisions here, though. Yeah, kind of sucks. Paddle steamer, nice. Paddle steamers are done. Oh, no, armed craft and patrol craft. Um, paddle steamer mark ones, patrol... Uh, definitely give him some armor. That'd be useful. Maybe better engine. Any better anti-air. This is a capital ship, so medium battery. Level 4 that. Bad boy. Torpedoes. Secondary batteries, I guess. Anti-air. Not bad. Even though I really don't like uh, cruisers. Heavy cruisers, at least. Light battery actually wouldn't be bad for more piercing. Actually, this is better, but this would lower our speed. I want a faster thing like this. Nothing we can do there. That's fine. This is the Paddle Steamer Mark 1, which will go to Gunderson. And then we have the Paddle Steamer. I did that. I need the Patrol Ship 2. Patrol Ship 2. Nice. Light Cruiser Battery. Let's do that. I'm probably never even going to use these things, to be honest with you. Uh, let's do that, do that. Light cruiser battery, let's do that. Do that. No radar on these things, unlike base game Hoi 4 or any of the other mods, which is fine. No worries. Cool. Gunderson Ranch. Oh, and we got some research, which doesn't even really matter to us too much. Cool. So, I will keep attacking, because I don't believe they can get any supply into here. The signal company's nice. Yeah, they have 0 out of 10 supply, like, 
Maybe they've got six supply. Maybe they've got six. And it doesn't really matter. You know what? Do that. You know what? I'm probably actually going to take out the power armor here. Give me this. Mm. I want to separate you guys. You're coming off. Hold your position. You come up north. And the rest of these guys, this infantry, will just stay still. This way we reduce the amount of supplies needed. And hopefully have a good time and be able to conquer these guys. Ooh, they actually have a couple divisions over here. Whatever. Just take them out. Alright. Supply is a little bit better, which is good. Commercial Protectrons. If they don't want to die, then so be it. We'll make sure they won't be able to do anything else. Ooh, planes. Give me 800 gunships. That could really be useful. Do it right there. Do that. And increase the airbase, please. Alright, so they're not dying of supply anymore. We still kind of are. Hmm. Gotta love coffee, though. So, I only have infantry. And these Mexican bandits are giving me quite a run for my money. Wasn't surprised, was, wasn't expecting this at all. But, we have power armor and they can still be used very eff effectively if you know where to put them. <clears throat> so, we've already done this once. I might as well navally invade again. So, if I can navally invade, I'm going to do it down here probably. Just because it's so far south that we can cut off their supply. Oops, actually don't do that. It's so far south that we can take the port and probably cut Baja California in half. Actually, you know what, before I do this, let me get rid of that thing. Mm, actually, don't ruin the supply over there. Come over here and do, actually, there's no naval bases down here. I might be able to just get La Paz. We might just want to do that instead, actually. Do that. Come from the same place. Attack La Paz itself. Uh, come from here, because why not? So we got La Paz. We got that area. We got this tile. And one more division will come from here. Into... Mm-hmm. Here. That'll be good. Awesome. Yeah, we'll get them eventually. No worries, no worries. Besides, I just need to make sure that my guys actually have enough power armor so that I can do reasonably well. Oh, you already being added to something? Where are you headed to? Oh, naval invasion support, nice. Well, since these guys are done, I'm gonna move you guys out of here because it's ruining my supply up here. Come over here. Naval Invasion Support, do that area too, just so that they have some coverage if they're moving around. Alright, Mexicans. You're gonna have to die sometime. Now, if I attack now, it won't be very good. At all. Like, it's this is really bad. How does 16 divisions not suffer from any sort of supply issues? Makes no sense to me. But who am I? Alright, Mexicans. The Veil Bandits. Paddle Steamers. Ooh, destroyers. I could try this. They can't pierce me. Actually, they can pierce me a little bit. That's actually not very good. That's really not good for us. That's okay, though. Just hold our place there, because now you guys are starving for supplies. Or at least a little bit, if they're moving. Which is good. Jolly, jolly good. If I actually... Are they getting supplies through this area? They might actually be able to. Which is a problem. Which is a big old problem. Scouting... No worries. Cool. Provide the American Air Force. You four come right here. You guys are down there. Which is fine. Uh, you three push to the air base so you can take the port. And you push this way. Because we have absolute air superiority down here. We have a thousand gunships having a great time. Which which they're going to be dying down there. Which is fine. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, you know what? Let's do a nation reborn, actually. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Finally, we can do that. I purposely just kind of ignored it for now, but we're doing it now. Alright, are you guys ready to go? 
Um, ships, we need you. Awesome. Come down here and come over here. Uh, actually, come to the port first to rebase so you have enough range for everything. Alright, we took the port. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Come down this way. Go ahead and bust them up. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like that? You, you starve them for supplies, you piece of garbage? You 16 pieces of garbage? I'm going to end up killing so many Mexicans that I don't want to kill. Because you guys failed to do your job. Uh, take one division this way as well and beat them up. Oh, and now you're starving. See, I should have not built a port there. That was my fault. This entire episode was my fault. So my apologies for my incompetence. Oh well, whatever. Cool. Oh, and actually, oh, a little bit for for a little bit there, they weren't starving for supplies, which is good. All right. Are my ships ready to help? I hope to God that they are. Give them a couple of days, give them a couple of seconds. It looks like these Mexicans are starving for supplies. I wonder what's going to happen. Casualty rate, 24,000. Oh, just drastically increased to 27,000. Awesome. Just get out of here. Ah, oh, so good. Infantry, uh, you come up north because you're actually sucking up some supply. Uh, actually, do something like that and just go ahead and train yourselves when you guys are done. And over there... You guys, ooh, na Nation Reborn, awesome, after 200 years of chaos, depravity, and barbarianism, the American flag once more flies over this great country, terms like Enclave are quietly phased out of phased out of use as the blue Enclave flags are replaced with the Star Spangled Banner of old. There's still much work to be done and many enemies to bring to heal, but the claim of the Enclave has been realized, America is back. Amen. Alright. Cool, uh, go ahead and train as well. Tell you guys to do whatever you need to do. For us, we'll do the last arguments of the Presidentes. We'll do this, so you guys come down here. And there's something else I want to do before I go to war with the Kaisar's Legion. Or the Legion. Make sure we got enough uh, planes for all these guys. I'm sure that the enemy won't have enough planes. But you know what? I like to make sure that we are okay, not the enemy. Make sure we got lots of gunships. Okay, we don't have a lot of gunships. I need more gunships. I love gunships. Gunships sound amazing. Cool. And actually, before I forget, I do want to arm various regions before we launch Operation Bye Bye Kaiser. Uh, cool. Oh, and they're attacking us. Very nice. So go ahead, guys. Do that down there. You guys are doing a great job. Hanging on. I'm going to attack as soon as my infantry or my power armor gets down to the capital. And we'll see what happens. Destroy one. Nice. Destroyer 2, please thank you. Getting closer and closer. They have a lot of divisions. These bandits really do. Alright, I'm tired of waiting. Uh, they are on careful. If you attack with more than all those groups, you might be able to push them out. And we've landed. Cool. Take the port. Take the capital. That would be great. Scouting. Awesome. Uh, whatever, just do that next. Come up here. Come up here. Hey, yeah, we took the capital. Nice. Now we're attacking from the south. Going to push up this way as the power armor in the north should be pushing down south. Alright, you got to raise this a little bit. Like, I've invaded the capital. I've got supply to help me down, down there. Hope Bill joins us. I can do that. I'm going to save my political power for a little bit more rebelliousness. Um... They need... Oh, they need more stuff. Oh, there we go. Nice. Very nice. Oh, have we encountered some resistance? I guess we have. You know what we could do? Take half of you guys. Attack this way. Cut these guys off. The sins of our fathers straddling the border between California and Mojave are two prosperous trading towns, Ashton and Hopeville. These small towns have boomed in recent years thanks to civilization's recovery and were already on our list to liberate to simplify logistics, if nothing else. But recently, we picked up some sort of signals from pre-war military bases in the region. Since the area was home to ICBM bases before the war, we should secure the towns and investigate. Oh, we will investigate. We will find all sorts of goodies down there. Um, Operation Spartacus, let's go ahead and do that. I think we'll be ready. At least get the war started. If I lose a bunch of territory, you know, stuff happens. Um, everyone should be ready to go. 
Go ahead. At this point, we're getting ready for war with Kaisar, so... Just... Rack it up. Just, just go ham. You guys can stop training now. And I want you to go ham. Like, just no peace. Because I want to actually end this stupid war. I, I've taken this entire episode to kill these guys off. Which I guess was a mistake for me going to war with them, but, you know, whatever. Uh, they're almost done, though. They've lost 33,000 guys, which really sucks for them, but, you know, they deserve it. They really deserve it. Ooh, before we go to war with Kaiser, can I take any... Ooh. I will arm the slaves in Nova Romana. Romana. Roma. Nova Roma. 6,000 losses. Brotherhood's lost actually... The Brotherhood's actually lost 3,000. Wow. Alright, just kind of wait for the focus to finish off. The Veil, veil Bandits to finish off as well. Come on, finish them off. They're, they're almost gone. Dynamite's done. Nice. There we go. We got them. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all states just because these guys are pieces of garbage to us. And yeah. That would be great. Finally, it took the entire episode to get rid of these guys. Cool. So, all of you guys, I'm going to tell you guys to immediately come up north as a sort of line. Oh, let me get rid of this first. Just in case things might happen. You, infantry expert, yes, please. Coasts, let the time go on just slowly. Do some resistance, do some port guarding. Because you never know what Kaiser might be doing down here. Um... I guess you could do that area too if you really wanted to. No real point for you two though. Operation Spartacus. Great. Do that. I guess you can do that as well. Why not? I got enough things for that. And instead of this, I want you to patrol. Because they shouldn't be able to get in. Oh, actually. Yeah, these rivers are cut off. You can't. They should not be able to get in through here if we can just patrol this entire area down here. I could be wrong. But we should be okay. Should be. Oh, and we have a focus, which we're actually running out of things to focus on. I've already did all the military stuff. So, oh, new American army, never mind. Hello there. Power armor. Throw them on there. More free military factories. We are really out of supplies, which really sucks. Um, ba -da -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. We have war justifications against Hopeville, Scorpions, Genta de Sol. Uh, how do I go to war with Kaisar's Legion, then? Oh, I need to issue this. North Phoenix. The state has slaves ready to rise up. Flagstaff. North Phoenix. Oh. Oh, I need some political power. Let's get some political power first. I'll do this, and then we'll hopefully end up in a war with Kaisar's Legion. And have a great time with them. Flamer, sure, whatever. I can always add the sorrows to my faction, America's capital, with the restoration of America. It's time to decide where to replace our capital. Some suggest we move to the Shady Sands, the largest city in California, but others, fearful of the threat of protesters and dissidents, suggest we fortify Navarro. But there's a third idea. I'm going to do New Reno until we free Washington. So we're going to rise for the national anthem now, and we'll see you if they ever get to the East Coast, which eventually they will, because between this episode and the start of the next campaign, I will be trying out the East Coast mod with some Midwest chapters available, as well as um, some other mod. I forget which mod it was. Maybe Shattered World, maybe not, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got enough. North Phoenix, arm the rebels. We need to issue this second Emancipation Proclamation. I've never tried this, but let's see what happens, guys. So, America's, Americans will always fight for freedom. This is Enclave Radio interrupting your regular programming. These were the words that sparked the Second American Revolution, heard by Americans in slave barracks, occupied cities, and factories across the Legion's territory and beyond. Anywhere Americans yet dreamed of freedom. Patriots across Arizona and beyond rose up, inspired by the past American struggles against tyranny, as and as the first gunshots, gunshots rang out as the Second American Revolution, a jaunty singer declared, We will welcome to our numbers the loyal, true, and brave, shouting the battle cry of freedom. And although he may be poor, he shall never be a slave, shouting the battle cry of freedom. In which, oh, we get, I become control, controller and owner some stuff. Nice, and we got the territory immediately. Cool. Oh, and we have some rebel militia. This is very, very similar to the event that had, um... The way we attacked the NCR. Ooh, these guys are going to get surrounded. Actually, I'm going to pull out of North Phoenix immediately. And I will. we will make our way down there eventually. So, uh, I need a new leader. But I don't have political 
Political power? Political power. Um, nice. We're at war with Kaiser's Legion, like I said we would by the end of this episode. And there's literally nothing else for us to really do down here. Everything else is either blocked off or done or something like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and do construction engineering. Uh, we got more military thingy-mabobbers to do. Just give me more of that. We've got some more... Ooh, destroyers. Those actually look pretty good to the point where I don't have to mess with them. So, we'll do that over to Gunderson Ranch. And we'll do this to Gunderson Ranch. And what's that thing we like to dip our chicken tendies in? That's right, we're going to go to Gunderson's Ranch Sauce. Awesome. Uh, wait, these are just heavy cruisers. Why am I making those? I need... Um... Wait, no. I need this. No, that's still heavy. Those are... These symbols keep screwing me up. Just give me a patrol ship. There you go. Gunderson's Tasty Ranch House. And Iris wants to join us. Is Iris at war with anybody? No, they're not. Um, screw it. We'll add you in. They joined the United States. Good for you. Awesome. So we're at war. I know this episode's gone on a little bit longer than I expected. Eh, whatever. Things happen, you know. Uh, cool. Not bad. Uh, join the... I hope it wants to join our war as well. I want to annex you, don't I? Ah, screw it. You can join, but just don't lose too much territory if you get attacked. Cool, so right now we're just going to move our soldiers up. I will end the episode in like a few seconds. But I want to get my soldiers up here and read this last event. Kaiser's atrocities. Kaiser is a nasty son of a bitch. And as we push east, his men have responded with increasing guerrilla attacks on our supply lines and atrocities to demoralize our men. Recently, they somehow crucified 13 men on Hoover Dam, declaring they left their bodies facing west to watch our world die. So what's wrong with them in which Kaiser gets some bonuses... And, but they do cost more supply. Or anyone spreading these stories gets a visit from the Secret Service in which they cost more supplies. I know this manpower. I'm going to do this one because it's I don't want to boost uh, Kaiser's attack. Area 51 with Area 51 under control. Enclave scientists are sifting through realms or reams of pre-war data. It appears that the pre-war United States was monitored by vast intellects. Uh, cool and unsympathetic and their technology was studied by the military we could pick this research up but there may be consequences Ooh, <gasps> plasma finally plasma i finally get a really great or a better weaponry oh my goodness look at that cost but anyways thanks for watching guys i know i spent a lot of time focusing on the baja california area but at least we're finally at war with kaiser's legion next episode might be the end of the series i don't know we'll see what happens so anyways Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we have a great time with Kaiser and his Legion. Thanks for watching.